to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be a huge baby haul. I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys, a lot. I think I'm officially done buying things for baby girl, at least for now. We do have a baby shower coming up in September, which will be here really soon. So I think I'm pretty set on everything that I have for baby girl. I have a diaper bag, I have some organization things, some nursery decor, clothing, crib sheets, swaddles, basically a little bit of everything. So lately, especially with the pandemic going on, I've been trying to be mindful of where I shop. I've been trying to support smaller shops. So I have some things from like baby boutiques. I have some things from Etsy, just kind of like all over. I will try to link as much as I can down below. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. So the first thing I have to share with you guys is my new diaper bag. It's in this really gorgeous brown color. You guys will see a color scheme kind of going on in this video. I have a lot of like muted tones, a lot of browns, a lot of mauves. So here is what the bag looks like. This is by the brand Miss Fall. This is actually my third diaper bag from them. So I already know I'm going to love this bag I already know the quality is there. The other two bags that I have are like the Bucket style backpack kind of bag. I have their original size and then I have their mini size So this is their new diaper bag. I am a mom of multiple kids I'm going on my fourth kid so backpack style is the way to go for me and what I like about this bag is you can wear it different ways so you can actually take off the backpack straps and then you can tuck in the backpack straps right here in this pocket if you don't want to wear it that way and then it also has these straps right here and you can also change the direction so you can instead of having them this way you can clip it this way instead that way you can hang your bag on your stroller if you needed to so you can use these as stroller straps or you can use it as kind of like a tote style and do it that way but i like to have mine just this way another cool feature about this bag is in this front pocket right here it actually has two insulated bottle pockets so you can fit two bottles right there it has a ton of pocket storage has two big pockets right here and then it also has these pockets on the side which you can fit like a full water bottle in here and then in the inside here's what it looks like you also do have two insulated bottle pockets in here so this bag has a total of four insulated bottle pockets. This bag also comes with a changing pad, which is a really decent like size. So here's what the changing pad looks like. So once baby girl is a little bit bigger and I don't need to be lugging around like a bunch of little newborn things, I'm 100% going to order the mini version. But I just absolutely love this bag and I think it is so gorgeous. I do have a discount code for you guys as well. I will leave it right here on the screen as well as in the description. But yeah, I am just so obsessed with that bag. So I was so excited to share that with you guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into baby clothing. So the first shop that I'm going to share with you guys is by Loved Baby. So I have four things from Loved Baby to share with you guys. So here is the first one. All of these are the same style. I just got four different colors. So it's just a little button kimono bodysuit, I believe that's how you call it. And then what I really like about these is it has the sewn in like fold over mittens. So you just go like this and then your baby's hands are covered. I've been really gravitating towards clothing with this because you guys know baby girl is due at the end of October. So it's going to be really cold when she's born. It's going to be cold for the first few months of her being here with us. In my experience with my kids, the regular mittens that go on their hands always fall off and they just don't stay on. So I've been buying clothes with these. The next one is in this lavender color and then 
This one is in like this eggplant purple color. And then the last one that I have from that shop is in this really pretty sage green color. All right, so the next clothing items that I have to share with you guys are knotted gowns. I have two. I got both of these off of Amazon, but they're from different companies. So this first one is from Wallaby Kids. So here's what it looks like. It's in this really pretty like brown oatmeal kind of color. And then this also has the fold over mittens as well. So it looks really long, but you just knot it at the end. The other one that I got is in this really pretty pink color. And this one does not say the brand name on it. But like I said, I will try to link as much as I can down below in the description. So again, it's just a knotted gown. You just knot it up at the bottom. And then this one has the mittens as well. So the next brand that I have to share with you guys is Earthy Baby. And this is so cute. This is probably one of my favorite bodysuits that I got, baby girl. So it has squirrels, foxes, roses. It has a unicorn. It has hummingbird. It has butterflies. I think it's so pretty and then again it has the mittens as well when i bought this i 100 percent thought benny was going to hate it because he's not really into like prints like this but he thought it was so cute as well so that just made me so happy that he loved it too so this next clothing shop that i have to share with you guys is actually the last place that i got clothing from it's by the brand kate quinn they have the cutest things but you kind of have to stock their website because they have so many sales going on all the time so a lot of their stuff goes out of stock but like i said i will try to link as much as i can below everything that i got from them is basically just like footy jammies i've been gravitating towards those because like i said she's going to be born when it's cold out so i just want her to be cute while comfy so here's the first one it's purple and then i don't know if you guys can tell the material i'm not sure what you would call this but it's so soft. It has the mittens and then it has the little feet. The next one is in this peach color. This one does not have the fold over mittens, but it's pretty much like the same style, just a button up footy sleeper. And then I have a pink one. This is the same style as the first one that I showed you guys, that purple one. So this one does have the mittens. And then in that same style, I have this like darker eggplant purple. So it has the mittens and then the feet. This one is a different style. I believe this one is just like one of their cotton ones. So it's in a purple color. This one has the mittens. So this one is a little bit thicker than the other ones that I showed you guys. The next two that I have to share with you guys are the same style. These are their ribbed ones. So here's like this purple pink one, has the mittens. So this one is really soft as well, it's just ribbed. And then I also have this one which is in this mocha brown color. This next one that I have to share with you guys from the Kate Quinn shop is probably my least favorite one that i got for baby girl because of the material like this is so cute i like how it has the little button detail up here and i love the color but i don't know if you guys can tell the material on this but the best way i can describe it is this feels like a towel like it literally feels like a towel that I would use when I get out of the shower. So this one isn't my favorite. I think it's super adorable, but just the material is not my favorite. And then the last one that I have to share with you guys from Kate Quinn. This one is really soft. This one does not have the fold over mittens, but I think it's so cute. It's in this jade green color and then it has butterflies all over it. So that is actually the last clothing item that I have to share with you guys. So I think next I'm going to move into accessories. So these are by the brand Izzy Mateo. So I got three beanies from that shop. So there's this one in this like rose pink color. I have a light pink one 
and then this oatmeal cream color. I wanted these ones because it gets really cold where we live and these are super soft, super thick. I also like how it has like this rainbow patch on here. This is my rainbow baby. So I just thought these were so cute and I thought they would keep her a lot warmer versus the regular like cotton beanies that you normally would get. So the next beanie that I have to share with you guys is from a different shop. This is from Turbans for Tots. So this one is a little bit thinner than the last ones because this one is not knit. This is more of like a cotton style beanie. The next accessories that I got for baby girl are some baby bows. I got these off of Amazon. I think it came in like a pack of five. So there's lots of different colors in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open these. So here are the bows. It comes in a pack of five. Like I said, there's a lot of different styles to choose from, but I really liked this style because it kind of has like this ribbed effect on it, if you guys can see that. So there's this like mustard camel color. There's a light purple, darker purple. There's this like eggplant kind of purple color. And then the last one is in like this emerald green kind of color. I didn't want to get her too many bows because I feel like most of the time she's going to just be wearing a beanie since it's going to be so cold out. So I got her just those five. Next two things that I have to share with you guys are pacifier clips. So here is the first one. It's kind of like in this muted rainbow kind of tones going on. This is by the shop Charlotte P. Next pacifier clip that I got, this is by Little Nora Creations. So it's a rainbow, but this is like a muted kind of pastel rainbow. Next thing that I have is for her nursery. It's just a little decor piece. So this is a beaded tassel garland. I got this from Etsy from the shop Ramen Hands. So here's what it looks like again. I thought the colors go perfectly with like the whole color scheme that I'm going for. So I think I'm going to hang this above like where her changing station is going to be. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I plan on hanging this summer in the nursery. Next thing is a little lovey blanket. How stinking cute is this rainbow lovey? This is just a little blanket for her to hold on to. It is all 100% handmade. This was also from Etsy. This is from the shop Tiny Design. It has the teething ring right here so she can hold on to it better. She can teethe on this. So I thought this was just so cute. So next things I have to share with you guys are like swaddle blankets, crib sheets, washcloths. So the first one I'm going to share with you guys are the washcloths. I got these off of Amazon. It came in a pack of six. They are just muslin washcloths. The burp cloths that I got are from the brand Copper Pearl. And I like these because these are really big. Let me actually open them up for you guys so you guys can see for reference. So it comes in a pack of three. So here's what they look like. So this is how big they are. So they're pretty decent sized. So here's the first one. It's in like this mustard kind of camel color. There's this pink one. There's like that eggplant purple color. I have some crib sheets to share with you guys. I have three different ones. So this first one my mom actually got for baby girl. This is by the brand Red Rover. So here's what that crib sheet looks like from the brand Red Rover. So it's white and then it has flowers all over it. This is a muslin crib sheet, which again, that's like my favorite material. The next crib sheet that I have is from the brand Mebi Baby. This is also a muslin crib sheet as well. So this one is in like a mauve purple color and then it has white triangles all over it the last crib sheet that i have to share with you guys this is a bamboo and cotton crib sheet this is by the brand harp angel boutique and this one is in a light pink color and then it has rainbows all over it 
So I have three blankets to share with you guys. This first swaddle, and I think this color is so gorgeous. I feel like it's coming off more like reddish on camera. This is from Sugar House Swaddles. Next two swaddle blankets that I have to share with you guys are from the brand Quincy May. So there's this one. It's in like this creamy taupe pink kind of color. And then this one is in a cream color with brown little rainbows all over. Next thing are some closet dividers. That way I can keep baby girl's clothes organized in the closet because we are going to have like her stuff in mine and Benny's closet as well. So I bought these to kind of keep things more organized. These are by the brand Baby Nest, I believe. I got these off of Amazon. So these just go in your closet. And then it says like all the sizing. So it says newborn, zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine months, nine to 12, 12 to 18 months, and then 18 to 24. I thought these were so pretty because the prints are kind of like a vintage style. So they have floral patterns and they're all different too. So I thought these were so pretty. Next thing is a baby brush. This is by the brand Little Tinker's World. It's a wooden hairbrush. And then it also comes with this little silicone scalp massager. This is really great if your baby has a cradle cap. The next thing that I have to share with you guys, and this is probably like the number one recommended thing that everybody told me to get, this is a Haka. This is a silicone breast pump. I got the newer version, which comes with a cap. So I'm actually gonna open this so I can show it to you guys. I plan on using this a lot. Whenever I am breastfeeding a baby girl on one side, I plan on putting this on the other side. That way I can catch all of my letdown and it doesn't go to waste. So it's just a silicone manual breast pump. And then like I said, I got the one that comes with a cap. That way I don't spill any milk. So I'm really excited to use this because I'm pretty sure they didn't have this around when I was pregnant with my other girls. And I hear so many moms rave about this. Next things I have to share are some hooded bath towels. I got two of the same ones. So this is by the brand me bella baby these are so soft i wish you guys could feel these these feel amazing and it's really big too so once baby girl gets like around like rory's age like two years old even probably like layla's age a six-year-old can probably use this as well it's really big it's a hooded towel too so it has the little bear ears, so I thought that was just so cute. So the last thing I have to share with you guys today is for organization. It's just a cotton rope basket. I got this off of Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you can get it off of Target too, because I do have the smaller versions of this basket, and I got them off of Target, but I did get this off of Amazon, but they're pretty much identical. It's just, this is the larger version, and then I have like, the smaller version which is literally like this small in the playroom so if you follow me off of instagram you've probably seen those so here is this one it's pretty big i plan on putting this in the playroom as well that way i can have baby girls toys separate from all of like the other bigger toys so that is actually everything that i have to share with you guys today i hope you enjoyed today's baby girl haul don't forget to check out all of the links in my description i will try to link as much as i can down below also don't forget to check out miss fong the diaper bag that i shared with you guys because i do have a discount code for you guys so you can save some money if you're in the market for a new diaper bag or even just a purse for yourself because let's be honest I wear diaper bags all the time, even when I'm not carrying baby things. So don't forget to check out all of those links. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So